Fire companies from Clearfield, Jefferson and Indiana counties responded to a fire this morning just after 2 a.m. along Main Street in Grampian. There were no injuries. Our Jordan Mansberger has more on how crews were able to put out the blaze. Crews were on scene until around 1030 Sunday morning fighting the fire. Assistant Chief of the Grampian Volunteer Fire Company, Adam Redden, lives on a hill above where the fire started. And while I was responding, I could see the glow in the sky. And I, I knew it was big because I'm familiar with the structure. And when I come around the corner and seen it, I radioed into county that we had a confirmed working fire. Redden says they knew the owner of the home lives in New Jersey and that nobody was in the house. Our first response was to protect the surrounding structures that were endangered and we we were successful in that. The home sits between the gas station and the home of Grampian firefighter Madison McCracken. While her house wasn't structurally damaged, the flames did melt all of the siding off of one side of her home. The pager went off. Luckily, it woke me up. And then I didn't hear a word the pager said, to be honest with you. And then I looked at the text alert, seen the address, realized it could be close, looked out the bedroom window, nothing but red. Someone was knocking on my door at the same time. My dog was barking. It was it was crazy. Adams says that they don't typically get calls about a fire this big in Grampian, let alone just past 2 a.m. on a Sunday morning. So when the call first came in, he was concerned at what the response would look like. Grampian Fire Department had 12 members on scene, which is really good for our little town. And I, every truck that pulled in here had four to six people on it. And that, that's fabulous for around here. Altogether, 17 fire companies assisted in putting out the fire. Reporting in Grampian, I'm Jordan Mansberger, WTAJ News.